Now let's take the next case. Let's say case two. This is a very interesting one. Okay. It says if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then what will happen? Understand from this formula, if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then this whole thing goes away completely. Right? Then this whole thing goes away completely. Then the minus plus will not make any sense. The only thing that will remain is minus b divided by 2a. Right? So if b square minus 4ac, then there is only one root. Right? Because then this whole part becomes 0. Plus and minus separately will not give any different roots. Right? So then the roots are roots are real and equal. This is a very important condition. Real and equal. Right? So if a quadratic equation has equal roots, that means b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. Right? Let's look at some examples. If I give you a situation like this. Now, let's take a look at this question. It says, if this equation 3x square minus 4x plus 6p equal to 0 has equal roots, find p. What do we do from here? From here, what we can see, if it has equal roots, then we can directly apply this condition. See, if the roots are equal, that means this condition must have been satisfied. Here, a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 6p. Please be careful in picking up the value from the equation. Now, the condition is b square minus 4ac should be equal to 0. Okay. So, we straight away put the values here. In place of b, we put minus 4 whole square minus 4 into, in place of a is 3, in place of c, it is 6p. That should be equal to 0. So, it is 16 minus 4 threes are 12, 12 into 6 is 72, p that is equal to 0. Okay. So, further if you solve, we will get 16 is equal to 72 p. That means p is equal to 16 divided by 72. If you cancel by 8, 8 2 is 16, 8 9 is 72. So, that means the value of p in this question is 2 by 9 and that is the answer of this question. Right. But the basic crux of this question was to identify that for re equal roots, the only thing that you need to do is put b square minus 4ac equal to 0 after identifying the values of a, b, c correctly. All right. Now, suppose in this question, if it said also find the root, then what will you do? Let me do this. Suppose if we have already have the value of p here. So, if I have to solve, what should I do? I should take 3x square minus 4x plus 6 into the value of p is 2 by 9. That is equal to 0. So, 3 cancels 3 times and 6 2 times. So, we will have 3x square minus 4x plus 4 by 3 equal to 0. Now, multiply by 3, it becomes 3 into 3, 9x square minus 12x plus 4 equal to 0. Now, if, I look, if you look at this closely, 9x square is 3x whole square minus 12x is 2 into 3x into 2 and 4 is 2 square. That is equal to 0. So, this gives us 3x minus 2 whole square equal to 0. That is 3x minus 2 equal to 0. That is x equal to 2 by 3. Right? See, remember, there will be only one root. And if, the root, if, if, if there is only one root, that means always it will happen that this quadratic expression boils down to a simple uh, a square expression. 3x minus 2 whole square expression. Right? So, the value of x in this question is 2 by 3. Okay? Let's take a couple of more examples and then we will go ahead to case 3. Now, let's take up some questions on this concept of uh, quadratic equation having equal roots. We already have done the condition that it says b square minus 4ac equal to 0, right? This is the condition. We will directly apply this. Remember, b is the coefficient of x, right? a is the coefficient of x square and c is the constant term. Now, here you see in place of b, it is not b. It is minus 5b, right? So, in the formula that we have b square minus 4ac equal to 0, here in place of b, it is not b, it is minus 5b. So, it is minus 5b whole square minus 4 into, in place of a, it is 6 and in place of c, it is 8. This is equal to 0. Alright, so it is b square minus 5b whole square minus 4 into a is 6, c is 8. So, it is 25b square minus 4, 6, 8, 24, 24, 8, za is equal to 192. All right. That is equal to 0. So, from here we can see that b square is equal to 192 divided by 25. Okay. 
Now, 192 can be factorized as 64 into 3 divided by 25 is 25. Now, b square. So, this, this means b square is equal to 64 is 8 square into 3 and 25 is 5 square. So, this gives us very clearly that b is equal to, if you take the square root, 8 square will become 8 root 3 and in denominator it will be 5. So, answer of this question is just 8 root 3 upon 5. Alright. Now, let's take one more question on this. Now, let's take up another question. It says, if the equation 3x square plus 6x plus 7b has equal roots, it must be equal to 0, has equal roots, find b. Now, in this equation, as you can see, a is 3, right, coefficient of x square, b is plus 6, coefficient of x, and c, the constant term is 7b, and this b we have to find. So, be careful. Apply this formula, b square minus 4ac. So, in place of b, it will be 6 square minus 4. In place of a, it is 3, and in place of c, it is 7b, right? That is equal to 0. So, from here, we have 6 square is 36 minus 4 into 3 is 12, 12, 7 is 84, b, that is equal to 0. So, here the unknown that we have to calculate is b. So, we get 36 is equal to 84, b. So, this gives us b equal to 36 upon 84. Now, 12 cancels 36 3 times and 84 7 times. That means the value of b in this case is 3 by 7, right? So, this is the answer of this question. Right? Now, suppose in this question, if I add one more thing, right? Let's say also find x, right? Suppose if I have to find the value of x in this equation, so what do we do now? So here we have already calculated the value of b, put it here and solve it. All right, so let me let me take some space. So now that we have calculated the value of b, we put it here, the equation was 3x square plus 6x plus 7b equal to 0. All right, now we put the value of b here, b is 3 by 7, so clearly from here you can see that 7b is equal to 3. Right, b is 3 by 7, so 7b will be 3. So, in place of 7b, we put 3. So, it is 3x square plus 6x plus 3 equal to 0. Now, this is a very interesting situation. If you divide by 3, this equation becomes x square plus 2x plus 1. Right, now this is x plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. That is x plus 1 equal to 0. All right, and this means x is equal to minus 1. That means the answer of this equation is x equal to minus 1. Alright, so this was a good question. Okay, so sometimes we have to find the value of the unknown and sometimes we also have to find the value of x. So, we just put it back in the expression and solve it to find the value of x. Alright.